The last season of Demon Slayer left us all hanging with two upper moons being defeated and Nezuko now able to talk and walk in the sun. Not to mention a new Demon Slayer movie came out and it gave us a sneak peek at what might happen in the new season. So what can we expect in the new Demon Slayer season 4? Some of these facts might shock you but I'll try to keep it as spoiler free as I can. The first thing that's pretty obvious is that we'll be entering a new arc called the Hashira Training Arc. During this arc the Demon Slayers are training all their members under the guidance of the different Hashira in order to prepare them for the final fight that's being planned ahead. That's right, the final fight is near as the Demon Slayer Corps are finalizing their plans to catch Muzan off guard and kill him once and for all. To do this, they're preparing all their forces because it's going to be a bloody and long battle full of sacrifices and death. Another thing that foreshadowed this massive final battle is the fact that after Muzan knew Nezuko was immune to the sun, the demon's attacks halted. This may be a sign that Muzan is already creating a plot to take her and he's building up the forces as well. Stopping the attacks mean that he's thinking each demon counts and he'll be using most of them as fodder while he and the upper moons raid the demon slayer corpse headquarters to search and capture Nezuko. But why does everyone make a big deal about Nezuko being immune to the sun? This is because the sun is the only thing that's keeping the demons at bay and the reason why they only attack at night. Once a demon comes into contact with sunlight, they will disintegrate, which is why the breathing technique that was developed by Yorichi called sun breathing was so potent to demons. Because, well, it's literally called sun breathing. If Muzan gets his hands on Nezuko, he can experiment on her without mercy until he finds the reason as to why she's immune or he could straight up try to absorb her and he'll just hope her immunity integrates into him. Remember, Muzan has been searching for a way to be immune for hundreds of years by trying to find a blue spider lily, the main ingredient that was used to cure his illness as a human and shortly after turned him into a demon. The main reason why he hasn't been able to get it is the fact that it only blooms during the day for two to three days a year and then it closes back up. Sometimes it doesn't even bloom at all. So yeah, flowers blooming in the day and a demon king that can instantly be killed by the sun is not a good combination. So going back as mentioned before, there was already a movie that was released called To The Hashira Training in 2024, which might mean the series is going to blitz past the arc and proceed to the final battle arc. The Hashira Training arc is quite short and it only lasted 8 chapters in the manga, so it's highly possible. But do I think it's gonna happen? No. But if it does happen, then we'll have one action-packed season on our hands. We'll finally get to see Muzan in action and the Demon Slayers throwing everything they have to end things once and for all. So that's our video on what to expect in Demon Slayer's new season. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this. But wait! Before you go, have you ever wondered what happened during the latest chapters of Borto 2 Blue Vortex? Check this next video to find out.